Yo, what's up? Welcome back to another episode of the Suess. Uh, Friday night, we have the two game sixes. Uh, it was an okay night. The ticket finished in the red, but I went 2-0 against the spread. Knicks plus 6.5 covered. I ended up getting it at 6.5. And, um, and Lakers minus 3 covered. I lost on both totals, though. Um, but good news is the Lakers SGP cast. Same game parlay for plus 967, so that was awesome. Um, but let's put it in the past. We got a game seven. You already know who's playing. Let's talk about it. Welcome to the source. The source. Source. Hey, get the source. Just one game today. You already know what it is. Sixers, Celtics, game seven in Boston. Line opens up Boston minus seven. Total opens up at 202. Early public comes in heavy at Philly, and this line drops from seven down to six and a half quickly. But since then, the action's starting to come in on the Celtics. I would imagine by the time we get to tip off, the action should be pretty close to 50 50 here. Look straight up, there's just way too much regression on the side of Philly not to take the points here. I know the storyline from game six was Jason Tatum, right? He was cold as hell for three and a half quarters, showed up with three, four minutes left, hit a couple big shots to win the game. It's kind of all anyone's talking about. Um, but as a whole, the Celtics were shooting their asses off, man. I mean, they shot the shit out of the ball. Boston shot 42.9% from three compared to just 23.5% for Philadelphia. That's a huge gap. Now, obviously, we expect the Celtics to be a little more efficient than the Sixers from outside. But 19%? No way, no way. The regression from uh, as far as outside shooting is definitely on the side of the Sixers. Uh, something else to take note of in Game 6, Boston out-rebounded Philly on their home floor. When it beats healthy, the Celtics should not be out-rebounding the Sixers. Uh, Philly was a better rebounding team in the regular season. They've been a better rebounding team all year when Embiid's on the floor. Um, so there's another area where the regression is on the side of Philadelphia. As far as individual performances, yeah, we already know Jason Tatum <laughs> had a terrible game. Um, like I said, it's all anyone's talking about. Uh, he was 5 of 21 from the floor. Will he be better than that in Game 7 on, on the home floor in Boston? Yeah, I'm sure he will. That being said, we had some awful shooting performances on the side of Philadelphia as well in Game 6. James Harden was 4 for 16 from the floor. Tobias Harris was 1 for 7 from the floor. DeAnthony Melton was 0 for 5. In fact, the Sixers as a whole, as a team, shot just 36.1% from the floor in Game 6. Do you really think the Sixers are going to shoot 36% from the floor again in Game 7? Of course not. So do I think the Sixers win? I I'm not sure. Probably not. But this point spread is just a bit disrespectful for me. Uh, definitely taking Philly plus 6.5. As far as the total, not really sure what to do here. This total opened up at 202 right 202 they had to know the public was going to come in heavy on the over and they got what we all expected to happen public came in heavy on the over and what happens the total drops a point drops from 202 down to 201 uh it's very clear the odds makers have a sharp angle on the under here uh so you got to ask yourself do you have the balls to play it sharp are you like are you down to take the under at 201 do you have those kind of nuts and screw it I'll take a shot on it for a half unit. If the odds makers like it, it's good enough for me. Um, give me the under at 201. If one thing is, is abundantly certain in this industry, sports books are never trying to give away free money. Um, as far as props, I'm rolling with James Harden here. Uh, Celtics are going to send a second defender on Joel Embiid. They have to. Uh, Embiid finally looks like he figured out how to abuse Horford in these one-on-one -on -one matchups. The second defender's coming from Boston. This is a James Harden legacy game. A game seven to go to the Eastern Conference Finals. He needs this. Um, his, his points and assists total sitting at 29 and a half. You can get it over at minus 105 on DraftKings. I'm going to hit that. I'm going to hit that. I, I think he has a big game. Now, am I expecting him to score 45 points like he did earlier in the playoffs or 42? He had a couple 40-point games. No. But I'm expecting a good, efficient game from James Harden. Bounce back from that awful performance in Game 6. If anything changes with any of these bets, I will let you know on Twitter. So give me a follow there if you're interested. Uh, also, if you want the final ticket, which has exactly what bets I'm placing and how much I'm betting on each one, uh, just head over to kylekerms.com to get that. Game 7, Round 2 comes to a close. Um, let's have a fun day. Remember to bet responsibly, and I will talk to you on Twitter.